derivative and the uh, well, yeah, derivative is integral. Yeah. It's um, it's applying that to find out um, yeah. approximations and uh, measurements as close as you can get them out. I don't know. That you'll never use in life. Well, but, did you did yeah. you take the class with her? Yeah. Oh. Uh, had pre calculus. Um, because during the introduction, she said she like she didn't like when people said stuff like that. And did did you see what I posted on Facebook? Well, I gotta see in the class, so probably. Uh, no, I gotta see first. It's recording. All right. So here's what I think calculus is. We can find the area of squares and rectangles. It's just like the base squared for square, or like base times width for rectangle. But in calculus, you have curves of like complex functions and stuff. And we don't really know how to find the area of curve before calculus. But we can find the rectangles. So if you're given like two rectangles, like that, that are roughly the same size, it'll be a, a like the area of the curve, you can find that. But um, you have all this error in here. So if you make the rectangle smaller, you have less error. And if you make them even smaller yet, you have even less error. So you learn like, uh, like integration techniques so that you can find the perfect area under the curve when you have infinite rectangles. And then there's like, like differentiation and, and some trig in there too. But that's basically what I think Calc 1 is. Calculus is pretty much the study of change, things that are changing. There's a lot of lines and curves and functions involved. And that's pretty much the basics of calculus in my brain without getting too deep. You study change and... <laughs> I'm pretty sure the video is ruined. <laughs> that's great.